In this video, we will review live speech mapping and how to perform live speech mapping measurements within the MedRex Studio software. Live speech mapping is a fast and accurate way to verify hearing aid fitting gain and perform hearing aid troubleshooting. In live speech mapping, a speech input is measured by a probe microphone and is analyzed by the system and displayed in real time as a continuously updating peak from 125 Hz to 8000 Hz. The measurement can be directly compared to the patient's audiogram values, the modified aided speech spectrum, the MCL, and the UCL values. To begin, you will want to click on the LSM module within the MedRex Studio software. Before you begin running measurements, you want to make sure that you have all of the frequencies plotted on the graph for the right and the left ear in order to display the targets properly. To calibrate the speakers, click on the speaker icon at the top of the screen. When you click Start, you will hear the calibration noise. Make sure to attach the probe tubes to the reference microphones and place them about one meter from the speakers. It is important to not have anything blocking the speakers. To calibrate the probe tube, click on the probe tube calibration icon at the top of the screen. Place the probe tube between the calibration nibs on your reference microphone. Be sure that the opening of the probe tube is centered on the opening of the reference microphone. You can choose to calibrate the probe tubes individually or both at the same time. When you start the calibration, you will hear the calibration noise from the speakers. The signal must reach at least 70 decibels to complete a valid calibration. If the screen prompt indicates that the signal is too low, either increase the volume of the speaker or move the patient closer and restart the calibration. To begin the live speech mapping measurements, you want to place the probe tube in the patient's ear. See the probe tube insertion guide that came with your kit. To run a real ear unaided response, click on the REUR tab at the top of the screen. A broadband noise burn signal should be used for this test. The REUR is optional for live speech mapping, but it can be a great indicator for probe tube placement. If there is a dip in your measured REUR curve at 6 and 8,000 Hz, that typically indicates poor probe tube placement. The real ear unaided response measures the additive effect of the ear canal's resonance to a stimulus. When measuring the REUR, the probe tube is in the patient's ear without the hearing aid. On the right hand side, you can change the ear that you are taking the measurement of, the stimulus, and the intensity level of the signal. Click Start to begin the measurement. It is important to let this run in its entirety. To begin the live speech mapping, click on the LSM tab at the top of the screen. Before you begin, Place the hearing aids in the REM mode if the hearing aid manufacturer software has the option. Place the hearing aid in the patient's ear along with the probe tube. On the right hand side of the screen, you can change the characteristics of the test and the target types. You can click on the target tab at the bottom, and this is where you can change your target type from either MSS or another fitting formula, such as NAL2. 
When selecting NAL2, you will see the targets displayed on the screen. When selecting the MSS, you will see a gray area that you would want your curve to fall into. From here you can go back to the wrench tab and you can change the intensity of the stimulus that you want to present. For live speech mapping, it is typically run using the ISTS stimulus. To begin taking measurements, click the Start button. While the stimulus is playing, you can go back to the manufacturer software to make adjustments to the settings so that the curves fall within the gray area of the graph. When you are finished, you can click Stop. You will see the curve information in the legend at the bottom of the screen. You can repeat this process as needed.